Hello folks, it is I, the Brown Donkey, and today I wanted to do something special. With the game Saurian coming out next year, I wanted to create a scientific video on Hell Creek in honor of all their hard work. So today, we're creating a video about what else but Hell Creek. So to start off, Hell Creek is a fossil bed in western North America that houses fossils from about 68 to 66 million years ago. Back during this time, Hell Creek was a warm area that had many natural occurrences, such as rain, flooding, the occasional wildfire, and... Frost? Frost, I hear you say. But didn't you say Hell Creek was warm? Yes, I did. But in this video, we're going to examine the possibility of frost in Hell Creek. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, what is frost? Well, frost is the coating or deposit of ice that may form in humid air and in cold conditions. This usually happens overnight. Frost can appear on trees, plants, rocks, and other hard surfaces, and even things like spider webs. In order to create frost, a solid surface must be chilled below the dew point of the surrounding humid air and the surface itself is colder than freezing. Ice will form on it. Frost requires temperatures of about 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius or less than this and must be about 2 meters above sea level. Now there are multiple kinds of frost. The most common is hoarfrost, which forms during night. Now that we know what frost is, let's look at the conditions in Hell Creek and see if frost is possible. Hell Creek was very similar to modern-day North Florida. The average temperature was about 7 to 11 degrees Celsius, with lows being about 44 degrees Fahrenheit and highs being about 52 degrees Fahrenheit. In the coldest times of the year, Hell Creek would have had just the right temperature for frost, and some areas seem to be at least 2 meters above sea level, if not more, with mountain ranges and other geographic features. So it seems that frost was possible in quite a bit of areas in Hell Creek. However, Hell Creek didn't have four seasons like Florida does, but rather a wet and a dry season. The dry season, though, was cooler, so it would have been possible for frost to occur during this time. As well, at this time, Hell Creek was in the location of areas like modern-day Canada, Churchill to be exact, meaning long nights and days during some parts of the year. And to top it all off, North Florida does get frost. As a native myself, I can safely say that Florida does indeed get frost. I've seen it before with my own two eyes. While the evidence seems to be leaning towards frost, there is some evidence to suggest that it wouldn't be too common. The Cretaceous climate was much warmer than today's climate. So while Hell Creek and Florida had the same climates, the world as a whole was different. So while frost was possible, it was probably not extremely common. So with all of this in mind, a reasonable conclusion is that frost was possible in Hell Creek, but not very common, more like how snow is in Florida. It requires the right circumstances to occur, but they don't happen all too often. So something like this picture might have been a rare occurrence in Hell Creek, but still possible. Thank you all for watching, and have a fabulous day. But what about snow?